Welcome to my channel. I'm Blanche Johanna. So awesome to have you joining me today. I wanted to talk about mindful breathing today. And the reason why I kind of wanted to touch on this topic and just show you a really quick, easy thing that you can do at home that takes three or five minutes that you can do just to help to lower your stress and anxiety or those times when you're feeling really overwhelmed and tense is because I'm part of an amazing um, workshop that I'm running with two colleagues of mine at the moment and it's a vitality workshop. And one of the topics that we're discussing is stress and anxiety and ways to manage that. And not only that, we've also been discussing what stress and anxiety can actually do to the body. And, you know, when we were discussing all these things and we were covering uh, so many different aspects of the body and how stress and anxiety can really wreak havoc and cause complications, it really made me stop and go, you know what, I really need to do a vlog on just a really simple mindful breathing tool that people can do because, you know, we all need ways to try and reduce our stress and anxiety. And like, let's face facts, 2020, been a tough year, right? Like I think it doesn't matter where you are in the world, like what has been happening globally, we all need a bit of, you know, TLC and a bit of, um, you know, different tools and ways that we can try and just um, stay calm and make ourselves feel a bit more centered and balanced, okay? And like leading into the silly season that's starting next month, you know, it all starts to get a bit hectic. So enough of me rambling, I do that a lot. What I want to show you is just super, super easy. So just, just listen in and rewatch if you miss anything. Okay, so just, I'm sitting on the floor, okay, but for everyone else, because it, it doesn't matter what age you are, and if this is just not comfortable for you, I do a lot of yoga, so this to me is okay. But just sit in a chair, okay, any chair, with your feet flat on the ground and your back nice and straight, okay? So don't like slouch into, if it's like a lounge or something, try and like sit a bit on the edge. Feet flat, then put your hands on your knees. But what I want you to do is turn those palms up towards the ceiling. Okay, and the reason why I say that is because that is a gesture of receiving. And look, I am not here to preach to you about your spirituality or your religion or a God or anything like that. So when I talk about being open to receiving, that can be from anything that is outside of us. Okay, so whatever that means to you, that's what I want you to think about. So you just put those hands turned up towards the ceiling. Now then close down your eyes for this exercise. I'm not going to because I'm talking you through this. So just close down those eyes and then start to take nice, slow, deep inhales and exhales. And just focus on that chest moving out and then in. And if you like, a really beautiful mantra that I use in a lot of my yoga practices with my students is, as you inhale, you say to yourself, I relax. And then as you exhale, you say to yourself, I release. And you can just keep repeating that mantra over and over again. Okay, and sometimes like having a mantra can be really helpful for people whose minds tend to like wander off. So focusing on your chest moving in and out isn't enough for you. Grab the mantra, okay, and start repeating that in your head with your inhalations and exhalations. And do that for three to five minutes, okay? We all have three to five minutes. Even if you have kids and you're super busy, you know, you can spare three to five minutes after they go to bed or when they're down for a nap or when they're at school or daycare. It doesn't matter. We can find the time. Okay. So just do that for three to five minutes and you'll just find that it'll start to slow the body down, slow the breathing, clear the mind. It'll oxygenate the blood that's flowing through the body and you will feel, you'll feel better once you've finished. Okay. Like I can guarantee that to you, you will definitely feel, even if it's just small, just a little bit more calm. And something that I want to raise with you in regards to this is the breath is a really interesting thing because 
I teach this in yoga and you know I can't speak highly enough about yoga because I am a yoga teacher and it's such a huge part of my life but the things that you learn on the mat in yoga you really can take off the mat and one of those things that I really want to bring up now in relation to breath is that a lot of the time when you know you're on the mat and this doesn't have to relate to yoga just think about yourself doing some kind of exercise that's strenuous maybe something that's difficult for you you start to get tense and then you stop breathing you constrict the chest and you literally hold your breath because you're really tense and then what happens is you don't get enough oxygen in to oxygenate the blood and then you actually can't think clearly and everything starts to spiral down from there okay and it's really fascinating the amount of people in a yoga class that they're in this really difficult pose and then all of a sudden stop breathing and I actually constantly say and for those of you that have come to my yoga classes you know done one online or you know you've been to a yoga class yourself the teacher will say you know be aware not to hold your breath. And if you've stopped breathing, start to inhale and exhale slowly and it will make whatever you are doing much easier to be able to do, okay? And that's what I mean by something you learn on the mat you can really take out into your everyday life because in our everyday life, so many stresses and you get really tense that you'll actually start to constrict your breathing, okay? And that in turn puts more stress on the body and makes you feel even worse and can start to make you feel real foggy in the head as well. So I want you to really start to think about that breath, okay? Breath. <laughs> it is such a small thing, but it holds so much power. So when you are in situations, like imagine, you know, you're doing the cooking, you've got kids yelling in the house, the TV's on, you know, the TV's on in another room, your partner's talking to you, there's so much happening and you're trying to concentrate on getting the dinner prepared, whatever it might be, and you feel really, really overwhelmed, just take like 10 seconds, even five, and just close your eyes and just take a nice couple of deep breaths in and out and see the difference. Okay, catch yourself out when you're constricting your breath because you're tense and try to breathe through it and see what eventuates and what transpires from doing that. Okay, I'd like love to hear your feedback. I know with me, like, you know, I've been doing yoga for a very long time and like that was a real aha moment for me, you know, many, many years ago in yoga. And now I catch myself out in my everyday life doing it and breath it's become something very powerful for me that definitely has helped me. So I really help that that's, um, hope, sorry, that that small technique um, has spoken to you in a language that you understand and that inspires you and that empowers you to take what you need um, to try and manage your stress and anxiety. This is just one small thing to do in a huge list of things that we can be doing. Um, that is it from me. Um, love and light to you wherever you are in the world where you might be watching this and I will check in again with you real soon. Thank you.